Studios. This is Acadiana's News Channel at 10. Thanks for joining us this weekend. Yes or no, Lafayette voters will consider a tax rededication for drainage. But your vote affects more than just drainage. Some of that money would go to the CREATE initiative, and that's where some voters have their concerns. Justice Henderson explains in our top story. Voters in Lafayette are seeing pamphlets like this in the mail, urging them to vote yes. These pamphlets make no mention of the CREATE initiative. CREATE is a, um, an economic development tool that we're going to use to um, hopefully replace the lost jobs from the oil and gas industry. These ads were sent out by the Leadership for Louisiana PAC, formerly affiliated with Mayor President Joel Robodeau. This third party, they wanted to focus on drainage. They knew that a lot of folks had flooded and that, were, that they were going to be most interested in the drainage component, and, and that's the strategy that they took. It's a third party initiative, um, certainly nothing that I control. But in the advertising, some, like former LCG employee Mark Pope, see something else. Deceptive methods were used. The public was not given complete information, and a promotional mail piece went out recently, and the whole story wasn't told. All we were told was money would be taken from the health millage, put into drainage, create was not mentioned. So uh, there is a mistrust of government when these deceptive methods are used. I can't think of, of how we could be more transparent and open with the public than to say, we're not going to raise your taxes, we're going to spend existing tax dollars on drainage, we're going to spend existing tax dollars on an economic diversity initiative, um, and we asking you, we're asking you to support that. That seems to be the most logical and easy vote for anyone to make. In Lafayette, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3. Also on the ballot Saturday, two tax renewals voters rejected in April. If approved, the taxes, which are already in place, would continue to bring in about $10 million every year for the upkeep and maintenance of the parish jail and courthouse. New developments 